Hi. Um, so today I'm going to talk about how we don't let things sink in. Uh, hi. Can I come in? No, go away. Oh. Okay, so first of all, I've noticed, you know, when we're talking about things, you know, whether it's old, something that's old or something that's new, uh, there's always this like respect that we have for older things that we don't really have for newer things and I've always found it weird even sometimes the, even we, we like that newer thing but for some reason we don't respect it the same way as that older thing for example like if there might be a show that might, you might have seen in your childhood that you, it wasn't like really for you but you still respect it but when it's a newer thing and if that show is not for you you don't respect it like that so my question is like why why is it like that so i really thought about it and there's a lot of a lot of different things first of all you know when there's uh, uh, when something is in front of you you don't really appreciate it until it's gone and a lot of old things you know they really did a lot of their appreciation started when they left but another thing that i've also realized is with older things you know you spend more time with it and when you spend more time with things, it just, um, you know, it just sinks in, again, it sinks in with you more because you've spent more time with it. Another thing that I've seen is like people really, people are really quick to judge something when it comes out, when it's new, like a new show comes out and everybody's like, yo, this, this is amazing or yo, this sucks, it's not that bad, you know, they over exaggerate as well. And a lot of people who are like, you know, I kind of like this, or, you know, they're sort of forming their own opinion. Uh, they look at all of this over-exaggeration, and they're like, uh, you know, the, it just turns them off from the entire, like, thing, from the show in general. Because, like, even though they like it, seeing these people, like, really praise it, like, it's, like, amazing. It's just, like, it's, you don't feel the same way, so you don't talk about it like that. Another thing that I realize is oversaturation when something comes out everybody's talking about it you know it's just like it's everywhere on the internet or you know there it's like oh check out this new show everybody's talking about check out this check out that and you're like uh, forming your own opinion again or like just starting out with it and it's everywhere it's just like it's like whoa it's just like whoa, whoa I, I haven't even seen it yet and there's like this other other factor of Oh, look at what everybody else is saying about this, which didn't used to be the case when you were like, like you know, like a show from your childhood because there wasn't the, the internet wasn't like a big thing and not everybody was talking about that thing during that time. A lot of people have like a, you know, think about it like your favorite show, your favorite video game, favorite uh, uh, movie, whatever. Um, and it's like that thing is, what did you think of it at, at first, you know? a lot of the time you know a lot of people's favorite thing it just grows on them like in the beginning they don't think about it that much you know they, they don't think it's that great but then over time it's just like this it starts getting better and better and better and you're like wow what, what's happening and then then eventually it becomes your favorite thing like i'll give you an example basically so in in the early 2010s uh, cartoon network wasn't in that good of a state but there were three new cartoons that came out Adventure Time, Regular Show, and Amazing World of Gumball. Now, I because I still watch cartoons, I was like, oh, three new cartoons. And I watched all three of those, and the two that I liked at that time were Regular Show and Gumball. And in the beginning, I thought Adventure Time was really weird. Like, I, I judged it right off the bat. I was like, nah, it's not that good. But over time, I, I looked at it again, you know, kept on showing up, kept on showing up as reruns and everything and uh, I was like yo the, this is actually pretty good you know like a lot of different type of episodes were there all the episodes were very different from each other so it started to grow on me and then I eventually you know it started from the beginning there was like a marathon I watched through the marathon for like the first four seasons then I after that I kept up online 
um, until I got and, and then every time there was a new episode I would watch it online until it ended like a couple of years ago now there's like it, there's still like a continuation but that's gonna end as well but that's not the point basically what I'm trying to say is uh, this show was in the beginning out of these three shows it was the one that I liked the least the other two I thought were pretty good they were pretty great I still think they're great but the third one I thought was oh, yeah, it was okay but now I like it more than the other two. In fact, I think it's it's like one of the shows that defined me as I have grown up because I really like the way they show different characters. They show all these perspectives. They, it's it has a really like it's very calm. It, it's just uh, as I grew up, it it was something that really defined me, uh, helped define me as a person. Cause I just I just want you know everybody to just do their thing, and that show is like the definition of letting be you know everybody just completely doing their thing nobody like I don't know I don't know how to explain it but basically it's a it's a huge part of it's a big show that I like but if I didn't give it a chance in the beginning you know I, I, I was just like oh it's it's not it's kind of weird I'm not gonna watch it I wouldn't have realized how important this show was to me and how big of an impact it had on me personally and it, it's just like I can see this being the case with so many other different things for so many people you know they're just like they just judge they just they're just like completely in the beginning they're like I'm not gonna watch this so like whatever and then they don't even get give it the chance to sink in with them when with older shows you know like what was on TV maybe you might have not liked it in the beginning but at least it you know you're like oh okay it's coming back again okay I might give it a second chance and then then eventually it grows on you. That's what happened with me in Adventure Time. It, it really helped grow on me and the reason and have an emotional impact. But the reason why is because I let it, I gave it a second chance. And it wouldn't have happened if I didn't give it a second chance. And you know, let it sink in with me and let it affect me emotionally, have it grow with me and become this important show. And I feel like that can be a thing for a lot of different that would be the case for a lot of different things uh, yeah like you know a lot of games and stuff so yeah just, just let it sink in we should do that more even if it's like a newer thing I just wanted to just talk about that yeah you know what you can come in yay